Breaking news, guys. Emir Sanusi makes shocking announcement after resuming Kano Emir position despite court injunction. Details will shock you. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Star Next TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, the long-awaited return of Muhammadu Sanusi II to the esteemed throne of the Emir of Kano has finally materialized, making a significant moment in the complex fabric of Nigeria traditional leadership. Sanusi's restatement on May 24, 2024, follows a tribulations journey that began with the is this position by the former governor Adulai Ganjude five years ago. This event highlights the resilience of his spirit and the the pull of destiny. Sanusi, a respected former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, stood tall and means a backdrop of eager anticipation and widespread favor as he addressed the assembled crowd from the hallowed halls of African House situated within the majestic Kano Emirate Palace. His return to power was not just a personal victory, but also to profound statement about the enduring influence of traditional leadership in contrary contemporary Nigeria, I meant to say. The restatement of Sanusi to the Kano throne is a testament to his enduring popularity and the strength of his support base. Support base it underscores the intricate interplay between traditional authority and modern political dynamics in Nigeria. Sanusi's journey back to power has been marked by significant political maneuvering and legal battles reflecting the, the border tensions between traditional institutions and state governance. Sanusi's outing Austin in, twin, in 2019 was a highly controversial event that triggered widespread debates and uh, division within Canon State and beyond. His disposition was seen by many as politically motivated given his outspoken criticism of the then governor's policies and his advocacy for reforms in the traditional leadership system. Despite his removal, Sanusi remained a prominent figure, continuing to weigh to wide considerable influence and garnering support from various quarters. The moment of his restatement was charged with emotion and significance, Sanusi's return to the throne is seen by his supporters as a restoration of justice and a vindication of leadership. His address from African House was a moment of profound symbolism, representing not only his personal, personal triumph, but also the resilience of the Kano Emirates in the face of political adversity. In his speech, Sanusi reaffirmed his commitment to the people of Kano and the principles that have guided his leadership. He spoke of his vision for the Emirates, emphasizing the need for progress, unity, and the preservation of cultural heritage. His words resonated deeply with the gathered crowd, many of whom had long awaited his return to the leadership. Sanusi's restatement also carries broader implications for his, his future of traditional leadership in Nigeria. It highlights the enduring uh, relevance of those institutions and their ability to adopt the, the strife and means changing political landscape. The support he garnered underscores the deep rooted respect and legitimacy that traditional leaders continue to command in Nigerian society. Events leading up to and following Sanusi's return have drawn the significant attention both locally and internationally. 
They have sparked discussions about the role of traditional authorities in modern governance and the delicate balance between the state's power and cultural heritage. Sanusi's journey back to the throne serves as a reminder of the complex and often contentious nature of leadership in Nigeria, where history, politics, and tradition intersect or intersect in powerful ways. In conclusion, the restatement of Muhammad Sanusi II as the Emir of Kano is a landmark event that underscores the resilience and enduring influence of traditional leadership in Nigeria. It marks the culmination of five years' journey marked by political strife and personal resilience. Sanusi's return to power is not only personal victory, but also a significant moment for the Kano Emirates and border Nigeria society. His leadership promises to bring renewed vigor and vision to the Emirates, reinforcing the importance of traditional institutions in countries' social political landscape. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.